Perception is reality. But that's enough about me. I'm ready to talk about the Michael Faison Show. Magic 10.3, Kansas City, the Michael Baisden Show. Two to six, Monday through Friday, Insult Radio. That's all they do is insult people. This is the premise. They come up with these outlandish topics like uh, if you a man and you cry in the dark, call in. Or if your woman cheated on you with another woman and you want her back, call in. Well, obviously, the people that call in are mentally challenged. They're mentally challenged because why else would they call in? So Michael plays the good cop, and he tries to reel them in. And as he reels them in, he sicks his little sidekick, George Wilborn, and he lowers the boom and insults people. Now, what kind of sick Napoleonic trip is this? You got this huge platform. You got millions of ears listening to you, and all you can do is insult people? That makes no sense at all. And since when does being a disc jockey make you a clinical psychologist? Now, I know they got PhDs, pretty hard dicks, but where's the doctorate? They ain't got no doctorate. Uh, Dr. Baisden, Dr. Wilborn, we're waiting for your call. It's sick and twisted. And I really ain't got no problem with Mike, except he had that idiot. It's that idiot that I can't stand, that George Wilborn. You seen this guy? I seen him on Showtime. Oh, he came out on stage, had on a fox vest, a pair of slacks, and a pair of high heel boots that I know he stole from Prince. Then he proceeded to make a joke about the president. Now, how you gonna joke about the president talking about Obama pimp walking, Obama's a gangster, everybody's a gangster compared to you? Hell! Shit, the closest thing you got to being a gangster, the only resemblance of you being a gangster is the fact that you're the same height as James Cagney, and that's it. And then he proceeded to skip across the stage, oh, uh, like Shirley Temple Black. I couldn't believe it, because I couldn't place him at first. I couldn't place him at first because of the voice. The voice threw me off, because on the radio, he be trying to sound like Barry White. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. But when I seen him on stage, he sounded like Karen White. He, he should have broke out in a rendition of Superwoman. This dude is off the chain. Always is some people. Uh, why don't you get your own show? Huh? Why don't you get your own show? Even Eric McMahon got a show. Hell. See, matter of fact, why don't you put on your little green vest and your little green pumps and... Follow that rainbow to Boston. I hear the Celtics are looking for a new mascot. Yeah, 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 it'll be perfect for you as long as you don't go in the locker room. Yeah, I can see it now, live from Boston Gardens. It's Lucky Charms, starring our own Harry Pop leprechaun, George Wilborn. Yeah, and then after that, you like relationships, you can write a book about it. How I found my pot of gold in another man's pants. Yeah, it's too much glee going on up in there. That's why I like Tom Jordan in the morning show. Because Tom Jordan got Sybil sitting in between him and Jack Lee Brown. They professionals. Ain't nothing between them two guys but space and a hairy palm. Just listen to them on the radio. We listen, just listen to them. It's too many sounds coming out of there. Too many sounds coming out of there. Oh, this is grown folks radio. I know it is. It's explicit grown folks radio. <laughs> oh, that was good, Mike. <laughs> what kind of sick, sadistic, narcissistic trip were you on? Insulting the downtrodden, the mentally ill, because you got to be crazy to call in in the first place. And you laying a boom on them? That's supposed to be funny?
This is hard 40 from the Jets. And I would say, stay up, Mike, but psh, you got George to do that. I'm out. I'm kind of tired, but I got to clean up around here before I go home. Could, could you play my song again, Mike? Again, George? Yeah, come on, Mike. Come, 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 come play it for me. All right. Chicago. No good damn well. He from the south side of San Francisco, little Chicago, where they let you cross dress and you ain't got to worry about being mugged. Always in some folks. <laughs>